talking about that needs to continue in our downtown area. Our downtown is coming back and it's coming back what I consider very strong. We got a lot of young people and other types of people moving into our downtown area, but we got a great venues that make the quality of life and living in downtown Toledo uh, worth the move. And so what we're about to get involved with is phase two of this particular project where we actually are going to start to tear down the, um, uh, the, the landscape so that it actually floats all the way down to the, to the lake. Uh, right now, you can see they've already taken out some of the bushes and gives more of a straight shot to our lake. Um, and so it is really exciting because if you look at the different schematics of what we're attempting to do, this phase two will give us a little bit more area to work on up top so that if we need, uh, like for 4th of July, having vendors down in this area and being able to have people that have a little bit more uh, movement room to be able to do some things. It also allows for a lot of open space into this park, whereas before a lot of the vision was blocked uh, by bushes and things like that. It's now a little bit open. And so we are very excited about this. There are actually four phases to this project. This is just phase number two. The third portion goes into a little bit more detail of being able to set up things so that we can actually, the goal when it's all said and done is to actually have a stage on that end, a pavilion on this end, and uh, some fountains in this area here that will be able to take care of our kids and our youth. A lot of that is gonna be a, a combination of both uh, uh, government and private uh, sponsorships uh, to be able to help us get this thing done. But this is about quality of life in Toledo. It's about turning <laughs> some things around. Uh, we're going to be focusing also on our steam plant and some of the other things in the area, but we believe that with moving this park in a positive direction, it gives a little bit of a kickstart to our downtown area. You know, we got a company just decided to stay, and they're right in the area with Libby Glass. We got some other companies that are looking into the downtown area, and so what we need to do is make sure that when we're marketing our downtown area, we're doing some things that are extremely positive for our, our citizens, and this is going to be something that will go into the future and be something that's great for Toledo. So what I'd like to do is turn it over to Dave Dicer and let him explain some of the, the, the timelines and things like that. Okay? Super. Thank you, Mayor. It's great to see this excitement around our project downtown. This is a, a super project. As the Mayor said, this is phase two, um, $1.964 million. Um, uh, the successful bidder in the project was Rudolph Libby, and we have Lowell Metzger, uh, who will speak after me from the contractor's perspective. The phase two project, I, I think a way of thinking of it is we're building the front door to a new and expanded beautiful park that will face the river and take advantage of these opportunities here. Uh, the, the front door area along Summit Street, we will uh, include doing uh, landscape median along Summit Street to uh, alert users to uh, as uh, vehicles are passing along Summit Street that you are in a park area, slow down, look for pedestrians joy that you're a part of this process, part of this area. Um, immediately uh, in from that, along the curves, is a, is a promenade area, a wider open uh, sidewalk. We're putting in provisions eventually for vendor buildings to be built there when demand arises. And in the meantime, there will be tables, benches, places to congregate. The goal of the, the entire project is to activate Promenade Park as where you can be in smaller groups and enjoy just a, a, a casual get together for lunch lunch hour if you're a downtown worker or you can come down on the weekend and play a game of softball or something like that. To that end, this first phase includes building three what we're calling garden rooms at a level just down from Summit Street that will have landscaped beds around them to demarcate the room to feel comfortable within it. And yet the landscape is done such a way that you have open views of the whole park and down to the river. Uh, so those are basically the, the last the last thing is that in the center of this um, is the beginning of what we sort of call the grand stairways, the grand staircase, the entryway in mid lot that opens down to a view of this beautiful new park of the river, the docks, and the amenities that we have here. So as you can see, it's uh, quite an ambitious project. We're working on phase two, $1.9 million to build the, the Summit Street front door to the park. Mayor alluded to, we'll be working to secure funding to move forward in future phases to develop the rest of the park. Uh, I'm going to turn it over now to Bo Metzger, with you will let me speak from the contractors. Thank you, Dave. 
Rudolph Libby is uh, pleased to be working with the city of Toledo as the general contractor for this phase two improvement project at Promenade Park. Uh, we will be completing the project by June uh, to get the uh, park ready for uh, uh, the big event on July 4th. So we're really looking forward to that. Uh, we are proud to be constructing another landmark project in downtown uh, Toledo that will be admired for many years and uh, will be used by not only Rudolph Libby employees, but also many, many people from the city of Toledo and the surrounding communities. As a Toledo area business, uh, we are really pleased to work on a project that will uh, bring a lot of people to the riverfront area and also uh, help with the further development of the downtown area. During this project, we will uh, be employing about uh, 20 workers throughout the entire project to, uh, to get this done. We will be working uh, up until the weather cuts us off uh, this winter. So uh, we'll be trying to get as much done as we can before we stop. And then we'll resume work around mid-March, as soon as the weather breaks, and uh, continue to finish uh, the project in the middle of June. Uh, the project extends from Jefferson to Madison Streets. Uh, it's approximately 550 feet. Uh, it will involve uh, improved medians on Summit Street, uh, one new median, and uh, one that is uh, being removed and, and replaced and improved. It will involve landscaping with trees and shrubs, granite curbs, steps, brick pavers, and a lot of nice features that will be, uh, really make this a, uh, a real improved uh, park area. I want to thank the mayor and uh, Dave for having us uh, be a part of this uh, kickoff celebration today. Thank you.